Now, when the principal dancer of the Royal Ballet suddenly quit in January, it appeared he'd given up the dream job. But Sergei Polunin described the life he'd left behind as gruelling and relentless. Now, the new director of the Royal Ballet promises things are getting better. Here's our culture editor, Matthew Kane. At the Royal Ballet, dancers are rehearsing one-act ballet, Viscera. It's part of a varied repertoire which has made the company famous around the world, but places extra demands on the dancers. One, two, three, four, five. These demands are known only too well by the company's new director, who gave Channel 4 News his first TV interview. One minute they're dancing Swan Lake, which is the most classical ballet. Then they're working with Wayne McGregor, who uses the body in such an amazing way. But it's really punishing on the body and really, uh, and mentally as well. You have to be prepared to move from one sort of uh, role to the next. The start of this new season is a time of big change for British ballet. As well as here at the Royal Ballet, there are new artistic directors at Scottish Ballet and English National Ballet. And all three are taking up their posts after a year of growing awareness of the pressures placed on dancers. In January, 22-year-old principal Sergei Polunin shocked the dance world when he resigned from the Royal Ballet with immediate effect. The episode ignited a debate around the punishing lifestyle of ballet dancers, who were often expected to attend class, rehearse and perform every day. Release. Principal dancer Lauren Cuthbertson often works with Sergei Polunin, but a few years ago she had to take 17 months off work when she contracted glandular fever, which developed into post-viral fatigue syndrome. Over my years I seem to develop my own personal support team, um, maybe because I'm British and I'm here in a British company, possibly for international dancers, if they don't have their immediate family and friends around them, that might be a bit trickier. So essentially then I suppose it might be up to the company to make sure that they're catered for in that direction. We have an excellent support team, I'm not saying that we don't, but in that psychological area, it might be because it's such a psychologically um, strenuous job, not just physically, maybe we do need a bit more help in that, in that area. The company's new director says he's introducing an improved support structure for dancers in a new era of pastoral care. So we have psychologists, we have physiotherapists, we have masseurs, we now have sports scientists and pilates, gyrotonics, and it's a way of making yourself so fit and so strong that when you're in a performance, when you're 